everybody, welcome back to the Movie Pod Podcast. My name's Isaac, and I'm joined by my great co-host over here, Joseph. How are you going tonight, Joseph? Sunday, Sunday night. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Bit um. End uh, of the week. End of the week. Bit tired, and obviously tomorrow's Monday, so looking not you know, not looking forward to tomorrow. But no, um, we got a first episode since fir- first video since our review on Ahsoka episode one and two. Um, so go check out our review on the Ahsoka premiere if you guys haven't yet. Um, we, spoiler alert, we did enjoy episode 1 and 2, but now we'll be finishing off our path to the Ahsoka series with Star Wars Rebels Season 4 review. Obviously, if you guys have been keeping up with the channel, keeping up with our path to Ahsoka, um, we did this, well, not only because we're leading to Ahsoka, but this was Joseph's first time watching Rebels. He's finally finished finished rebels as a whole um it was yep. it was my i rewatched it for like the fifth time obviously love rebels but yeah we got our season four review now um do you want to kick us off joseph your your first time watching season four i hyped up season four a lot you did you did the last lot of episodes i hyped up a lot i know that but like what, what did you think yeah you did and okay yeah hyped it up but every episode landed like yes um <clears throat> so at the start of the season, we're back on Lethal. Uh Sabine's changed her hair again. Um, we got some new faces. Uh, Ryder, he's the governor, yeah. or he was the governor, and then he got yeah. kicked out by the Imperial Lady. Yeah. Um, so we've had we've we've had a little bit of a time jump. I don't know by how long. Um, we've had a time jump. Ezra's a lot more on it. Kanan's a lot more on it. Uh, yeah. Kanan, Kanan's. just they, I they might cry. A, they do um, a lot with Kanan. <laughs> Um, in this season, leading up to obviously, yeah, yeah, the, the the first part of the season. So from episodes probably yeah one through nine, it it's um we go to Mandalore and we get a lot of Sabine's some more Sabine story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's um we find a uh, they find a machine that Sabine built when she was in the Empire. The season really really focuses on th- th- mainly three characters, and it's Kanan. Sabine and Ezra, obviously. Yeah. Uh, I feel like Ezra and Zeb. I feel like Zeb re- really gets pushed aside this season, which yes. sucks. Yeah. This 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 series this season had so many different character arcs. We get obviously yeah, Kanan. He um he learns. No, in the f- last few episodes, he knows what he has to do. Um, we get the Lothwolves. Oh my God, them things! What oh, the crazy, eh? bloody flip! Like, genuinely, those things are... They're, they're, yeah. They are a freaking nature. There's Loth cats, and there's bloody Loth wolves. Like, the gap. The gap of, like, how important they are is crazy. But Loth cats, useless. Loth wolves, probably the most important thing. They arguably saved the galaxy with the rebels, because if they didn't get rid of Thrawn, then he probably would have beaten the rebels. I don't know. But, like, this season just had so much... So much going for it. We get the world between worlds in episode fourteen. Uh, such an important episode. Such lore heavy. It created Sorry, so much. Sorry, episode lore. thirteen. Episode thirteen. It created so we much. We get Ahsoka back. Star Wars. Ahsoka comes back. We we hear voices that happen in the future. We hear Rey and Kylo. Um, we hear Yoda. Yep. We hear old Ben Kenobi. And I still fully uh, every Star Wars fan. We still fully don't know. What the world between worlds is it's obviously it's like the center of time and space and it's just an echo of all events that have happened in the galaxy now uh, the ahsoka show currently is really changing that up obviously we'll have a video coming out um, about this soon but the ahsoka show is really changing things up with galaxies the force magic it's obviously creating this new galaxy we will go into depth more later and obviously as the Ahsoka show concludes and we actually find out what this new galaxy is. Um, but it looks like Thrawn and Ezra aren't in the Unknown Regions, they're in this new galaxy. And whether the World Between Worlds has access to this other galaxy, or if it's only in the Star Wars galaxy as we currently know it. But Dave Filoni creating this new galaxy in Ahsoka is opening up to so many possibilities. And it'd be interesting to see if the World Between Worlds has anything to do with that. And I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't, because yeah. that thing is... That thing is—it's it, 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 massive and it can change so 
so much, but they got to be careful with it. Got to be careful with it. Yeah, it is. It is not just an unwieldy power for for the characters. It's an unwieldy power for, power for Dizzy to wield. Yeah. So. I think they Dave's the only one. They that can do whatever they that. want. I really don't. Think. I don't think so. I feel like that's unfair. I feel like we put too much on Dave. I think there okay. are so many other writers and stuff out there. It's just we only know oh Dave, who can do it. But that's just because I think we're too scared to trust anybody else that we know of. Maybe John because he's worked with Dave a lot. If if Disney wanna let someone use World Between Worlds, they gotta be as low heavy as Dave Floney watched every show. No Legends content, no inside out of stuff. You know? I, I I hope it doesn't sure, yeah. become like a, a thing where in every project it get it, it gets used. Which I don't think will happen. It's way too powerful of a thing to use in everything. It's it, it should not be used much. Um yeah, we'll see what Dave no, does with no, it. No, it sh it shouldn't be much. We'll see what Dave does with it in Ahsoka. Um yeah. Yeah, there, there's so many so this this season, what it does is it it asks a lot more questions than it answers as well. Mm -hmm. It creates so many open storylines. It creates so much stuff about Sabine, about well, and yeah, about about Ezra and about the galaxy and with the world between worlds with these wolves. We love we we know that Dave Filoni has has a has a thing for wolves. He does. He's cooking something up with wolves. Oh yeah, that man. He might be a fairy, but that's fine. <laughs> okay, okay, big fan. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so this season kind of just asks a lot. Yeah, with and then also with Ezra in the season finale. Um, oh, dude. It just opens so many more avenues than what it and what it uh, and what storylines it closes. But also, the character arcs, it feeds us. Like, so, like the character arcs with Hera, um, Hera and Kanan, we finally get not an ending on it, but a conclusion, if you would. Um, or as I like to call it, um, closure. Because my boy Kanan, Doom, just ah, this season was just full of everything. I it it is it is definitely the best season that we've gotten. Yep. Uh, yep. It's a shame it's not longer. Yeah, it's only what. But comes in at sixteen episodes. Fifteen episodes. Yeah, fifteen episodes. So it is shorter season of them all. But then again, all the other seasons have so much filler. This one don't have that much. Doesn't really have filler. Not really filler. It doesn't have any filler. Ah, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm maybe an episode or two, but they're they're all to conclude small yeah. storylines. As as Dave Filoni said, filler does not exist. Episodes that are slower are just building on something greater to come. That's how Dave Filoni takes filler. Sure. So, yeah. Sure. But the Clone Wars has filler. Yeah. Sure. And gotta remember, these were initially kids shows, but they kind of they they grew out. They aged out of kids kids shows. They aged well out of kids shows yeah. so um yeah season four is just i i could rewatch that finale any time of the day the world between we worlds have episode palpatine and so it's ian yep ian mcdermott reprising palpatine in the world between worlds episode and in the finale um obviously palps palpatine tempts ezra by showing ezra his parents and that um ezra can save his parents it's, it's some wild crap it's, yep. it, it's wild what palpatine does there with ezra um but it's just as I said, this whole season, Rebels as a whole, adds so much to Star Wars lore. And currently, it looks like the Ahsoka show is doing the same. You know, good on your Dave. And then adding more to that massive universe. Massive universe. Um, yeah. Out of yeah, we definitely said it. Uh, Ahsoka, season f uh, Ahsoka season one is Rebel season five. It is. Oh, for sure. Definitely. Um, What would you? What would be your favorite episode of, of, of season four? <sighs> it's hard. I feel like the you know, finale is a cheap answer. Um, finale, World Between Worlds, freaking Jedi. World Knights. Between Worlds is good. Kanan oh. leaving us. Oh, dude, that no, was, Jedi Knights. It was Jedi, it's Jedi Knights. One of the best deaths in Star Wars is Kanan Jarrus. I, Caleb Dune. I'm, I'm telling you now, it's so... Um, it's, yeah. it's written so goddamn well and so much emotional value there. And then obviously... In the Kanan's such an, an underrated character as well. Like, what yeah, he's, he's gone through. He, um, he He's one of the... Like, in the, in the words of the Jedi, what the Jedi are... What they live for he is like the jedi morals he 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 appeals to the best he um yeah uh i, I sent you a video on it. i didn't see it i don't know if you saw it or not but it was um kanan's a better better jedi than anakin just because anakin is like he he had um he he grew feelings and stuff and he let that cloud him and then also you know yeah. turned to the dark side yeah I, I I would agree. Not a better fighter. I'm not saying no, not saying he's a better fighter. I'm not saying I, he's a better. I would, Anakin's a better force wielder. 
Kanan's a better Jedi. That actual you know, Jedi. Jedi, like Jedi ambitions. Kanan has better Jedi ambitions than Anakin, but Anakin yeah. builds the Force better. Obviously. He, yeah. Like when the man, uh, when when the Force grants the man vision one last time to see his to see his lady, you know, then uh, clearly he's doing something right. Yeah, for sure. Um, on obviously Kanan, Caleb, Hera have a little child, Jason Sindula. That was one thing I kept hidden, from, like it kept a secret from me. I, it was so hard not spoiling it. I even posted something on our movie put Instagram about Jason Sindula being in Ahsoka. Did you? Yeah, and I, I was like, I, I really hope you don't see it, and you didn't see it, thankfully. Um, but yeah. yeah, Jason will be in Ahsoka. He'll be about ten in the Ahsoka series. Um, we see him in one of the teaser trailer TV spots, um, sitting in the cockpit with Hera. Um, so that yeah. is going to be really cool to see him, and also Lego, there, a Lego um, Lego leaked that he was going to be in the series in one of their Lego sets. So, um, yeah, Lego leaked so much Star Wars oh, stuff; it's not funny. I know, it is, yeah, it's crazy. Um, but no, it's going to be it can be interesting to see if it's to see if Jason has. Force powers, like his father, and how good he will be with those force powers is... No, he, so he, 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 I'm almost guaranteeing you that he is, because Sabine said, when she's, like, narrating it in the finale, she's oh, yeah. like, oh, we know what his that's Jason Sandula. Yeah. yeah, we all know what his father's like. Yep. That's just confirming. Yep. And then, will Ahsoka train him? Will Luke, will it be part of Luke's Jedi Academy? Does Ben Solo end up killing him um, when Ben Solo... Fires down That'd be the... just awful. <laughs> yeah, so it'll be interesting. But no, I reckon he probably joins Luke's Jedi Academy. Um, but no, it's going to be cool. Cu- cu- there's so much more stories there. So much more development they could do with a brand new character, Jason Sindula. Build him up. Um, so I can't wait to see him in Ahsoka. Um, interesting, for sure. Yeah, no, there's there's so much... Um, Yeah, there's just so much to get through in Season... Uh, no, not a lot to get through, but there's so much stuff that happens in season four i feel like if they had maybe three or four more episodes we could have had um a little bit more closure like oh my god when when zeb brings callus to to the oh, new planet to, um to the last i would have planet. liked to see yeah yeah i would have yeah they they were relocated so they're all like refugees yeah. but um yeah but like that's that episode like i, th- I would have liked to see that as somewhat of an episode and then maybe callus like protecting sure yeah the sats yep. and then actually give him a better story arc yeah. i just think um maybe they just didn't have time or um i don't know but i would yeah. love to see agent callus in our we suppose not agent anymore but i would love to see callus and ahsoka mm-hmm. i think if we got a like a phantom crew uh or ghost crew um reunion i would be so happy with that definitely all um, of them bro like, we, we only really need zed back yep and we got him in mando so no reason why we shouldn't get him in ahsoka i think I think he'll show up. They'll get her a little reunion. Be very nice. To yeah, see. maybe at like the end of it when yeah, there's like the big bad it. that they're going through. Yep. Um, but yeah, Rebel Season Five's highlight of of Star Wars content for me, and you know, episode the finale, family reunion and farewell when uh, oh. Ezra, Ezra and Thrawn get get pushed into space with the Purgle. Obviously, they we we all imagined then that they you know ended up into a uh, the unknown regions. Did, did they die because Thrawn was presumed dead in Star Wars in universe reasoning? People thought he was dead. So same with Ezra. But now in the Soka, we know they're in a whole different freaking galaxy. Um, so that's crazy. Um, and then obviously Ezra's message he sends out to the Ghost Crew to Sabine. We saw a little bit of that in Ahsoka episode 1 or 2 episode 1 um, of that hologram and it just Ezra's message yeah. is beautiful and I cannot wait to see him show up in live action in the Ahsoka series um, played by Amanda Fundy obviously uh, did you know that um, Ho Yang is played by is voiced by David Tennant David Tennant yeah yeah, yeah that's cool. cool and then um, yeah no I, I think I'm really excited for Ahsoka not just for Ahsoka but yeah, yeah it's going to yeah it's going to touch on so much. So much rebels. Stuff. It's going to answer the rebels' questions uh-huh. that we it's, all have. Because Dave is just like playing with our hearts. You know, Rebel Season 5. So curious, Rebel Season 5. Um, and I love yeah. that. I like that. What would you give Season 4 out of 5? Out of 10? Five. 5, yeah. Easy. Out of 10? Uh, no, nah, season, uh, yeah. Easy. 10 out of 10. 5 out of 5. Whatever you want to call it. Yep. 
Me too. Obviously, season four, my favorite, and then season two, and then it's season just three, and then if you just watch, um, if you just watch the essential episodes for it, like every episode is probably essential, especially season four. I'll give yeah. season three, season two. It's a little draggy, but that's okay. And and season one, season one is just season one. You got to watch. And the season two thing. Yeah, but if you watch it as that and as a Star Wars nerd, as if you watch, okay, if you watch Star Wars the way I watch Star Wars, which is very odd but so movies and then probably mandalorian uh a little bits and pieces of clone wars not clone wars properly season one of mandalorian and then clone wars and then everything else that follows in order and then rebels yeah just, and just knowing everything about it i've done like i know legends i know everything like that yeah rebels the parts that matter like the big parts like the end of season two like season four it's just truly like some of the best, like some of the well written, some of the arguably fan servicey, but there's a difference between fan service and calling back to other things like Morai, the owl. Yeah. From Ahsoka. Me too. Unless you've seen three episodes of the Clone Wars, you won't know what the hell's going on there. Yeah. Yep. And I, I think, you know, you, know fans... like you have to watch three episodes of this, like, how many episodes of Clone Wars is there? Oh, begin be like what like 500 oh, i don't know there's that much but yeah yeah no, no. 20 episodes about a season seven seasons 20 times seven whatever that is 140 yeah give or take um so no that um yeah yeah and i think people like, twist fan service up a lot like people are saying oh seeing anakin and soku is going to be fan service How, how's it fan service when anakin is the master of ahsoka that's not fan service. It's part of her story. And then people are like, "Oh, if Luke shows up in Ahsoka, that's fan service." Maybe with Luke, just because of the certain um, circumstances within Star Wars now. But then again, if Thrawn comes back to the main galaxy and Thrawn's is a biggest threat, I'm pretty sure Luke, the most powerful being in the galaxy, will go and help and will show up and fight against Thrawn. That's not fan service. That's Luke doing his job. He's not going to sit on this random planet and watch a few. Yeah, it, move it, it, it depends on the um. Yeah. It depends it, on the the, the necess necessity of it. Yeah, exactly. And if if Thrawn comes back to the galaxy and Thrawn is this big threat, which probably will happen in Dave's movie, Luke better show up. Luke, like, he kind of has to. Yeah. Luke's the most powerful being in the galaxy. He's, he's unless it's, gonna... unless they are in a different... Unless they are in the other galaxy. Yeah, but, yeah. I mean, yeah, that, yeah if yeah. it's in the other galaxy, will Luke go with them to the other galaxy? I don't know. That, yeah. But if it comes to their galaxy, Luke... Luke better freaking help out and fight. Um, yeah. So yeah. Um, but like Luke and Boba Fett, that's not necessary. Yeah, that was fan. That that was fan. That was that fan was, service. That was this. That episode was in the wrong show. That episode was in the wrong show. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But, if that episode was in like a yeah, Luke no, show, Anakin going and that's not fan service, you know. Sure. Yeah. Um. But, but yeah, Rebel. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah is amazing rebels just it has just built on the sh built on the Star Wars universe and like i think no other show has done what that show has done i think ezra ezra's full character arc i think again isn't complete it's no. what i mean by asking yeah. the questions ezra is not a completed character not so much he has him and i can't wait so him. much so much more he's one of my favorite Star Wars characters so i'm Definitely my most hyped up character seeing in Ahsoka. A lot of people's most hyped up character is Thrawn to see. For me, it's Ezra. For me, it's Ezra. Sure. No, I can back Thrawn though. I can back Thrawn. Yeah, I can back Thrawn, but I cannot wait to see Ezra. And I, I love a man yeah. as as well. And he's he happens to be playing Ezra. So that just makes me hyped up even more. Um, so And Ezra's one of my favorite yeah. characters. So I just cannot wait to see him in live action. More development for him. But yeah, no. Anything else you want to add for our review? Nah, just um, if you haven't watched Rebels, I'll go you're watch it, doing okay. an awful job in this video. Like, what are you, what are you, what, what are you doing here? Yeah, what are you doing here? Um, um, yeah, you're a bit too late now, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, but no, yeah, Rebels is great. I cannot wait to watch more of so Yeah, it's obviously basically Rebels season five, but that's our review. Star Wars Rebels season four. It's incredible, and um, it's a much watch for all, not just hardcore Star Wars fans. This is genuinely great Star Wars. I know a lot of people don't watch the animated stuff, but just give it a chance. I was like that. I I hated that Star Wars had animated stuff that was part of canon. I'm like, I'm not watching that. 
I watched it and I freaking love it. It's some of my favorite Star Wars ever. So if you're against the yep. animated stuff, give it a go. Trust me, you will not regret it. Anyway, that's our review on Star Wars Rebels Season 4. And our path to Ahsoka is done. We're officially in the realm of the Ahsoka series. And we'll see you guys in the next episode here on the Movie Pod. Until then, may the Force be with you all. Bye-bye. Right, Bye. -bye. Bye.